everyone and welcome if you're new here my name is christina if you're not new here my name is still christina but i'm really glad to have you back before i get into anything i just want to apologize for my accent i feel really bad i just disappeared on you all and i did not mean to i had some personal stuff and i had some mental health stuff. I do have depression and anxiety as, as most people do. I got into that, you know, that, that low place. You don't care about anything, nothing interests you, you're just existing and living in this bubble of bleh. I've been trying really hard to get out of that. I'm feeling like I want to come back. And so I'm here. And hello, <laughs> I've really missed you all. I do have a boo-boo on my face. We're not going to address it. It doesn't even exist. I don't even know what, what I'm even talking about. My little baby boy, Chero, he did get me. So if you notice it, you don't notice it because it's not there. You feel me? Okay, good. For my first video back, I dressed up for you all. <laughs> do you think this attire suits me? I don't know how you all felt or feel about Melissa Barrera, but in Scream 5, I wasn't like a fan, but in Scream 6, I don't know what happened. It was like, hello, where did you come from, badass hottie? Like, so I'm really looking forward to seeing her along with the uh, two guys who did Scream 5 and 6 and we're not going to get into the Scream drama. That's for a different conversation. But yeah, I'm just really looking forward to this, this movie. Is there anything else I want to say? I love you. Anyways, today's video is Abigail. It's the perfect movie for me to come back to because I've been dying to see this movie. I've heard nothing but good things about it. Everybody who's seen it seems to love it. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. If you guys are interested in this kind of content, I hope you will consider giving this video a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe. Because in case you didn't know, subscribing is cool. So, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications so you go so you get notified for new uploads. Let me stop rambling and let's get into the movie. Without further ado, let's get into Abigail. Let's do this. Abigail. Abigail, the vampiric little girl. No? Okay. Cheers. Oh, hello, Toad. Oh, hello, little devil. I mean, you're not a devil. You're a vampire, but still. Oh, I love the title card, because if you didn't know what this movie's about... You've got a big storm coming. Hello. Oh my god. Melissa. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I um, am completely listening out. Temperature okay? Or... Temperature's fine. Just fucking drive. House cameras are down. Aw. R.I.P. Angus. Oh, but brava! What an amazing performance that nobody saw, but yet everybody loved. Tiny dancer. You know, I kind of wish they didn't give away that, like, she's a vampire in the trailer. That would have been a really good twist. Very nice house. Front door is clear. What a hideous room for a child. No one said it was a kid. You wanna walk? Walk. Sir, I don't like you. Little girl's super cute, though. <laughs> Yeah, get him. You sick motherfucker. Were you about to punch a little girl? Granted, she's not a little girl, but you think she's a little girl. And you're about to punch her. Mm. 
F it flame flames. I think we're in the clear. All right. Is she okay? She's good. I wonder if she's faking it or if like she really got knocked out by that. Fuck. It's not too bad. Thank you. You grab it like that again, I may have to respond. Understood. Wow. Somebody really likes hitting little girls and women. I'm sorry. This guy's pissing me off. I stopped you from punching a little girl. You just threaten. Mm. Flames on the side of my face. Oh yeah. Let's just um drive into the middle of nowhere. That's normal. Hell no. You had me kidnap a little girl to go to some decrepit old ass house? Hello. <laughs> Hello. For those of you who don't know, I go by Lambert. It's a 24 hour job. And the hard part is already over. Now, you babysit. Who's the girl? You don't need to know her name. I don't care about her name. Whose kid is she? A very wealthy man who's about to be $50 million poorer. I'm going to collect your cell phones. Okay. You have a son. Anything else I can do for you before I leave you to it? No, thanks, Lambert. You want names? Frank, Dean, Sammy, Peter, Joey, and... And you're Don fucking Rickles. <laughs> See you in 24 hours, my lovely pack of rats. Good luck. God bless you. Oh, I get it. They're rats because they're locked in with a vampire. But also, those are the names of the guys who are in the rat pack. Smart. You best see that uh, this girl's father is. Some tech billionaire. How you don't get a house like that without being in some shit? What about you, Joey? Who you think he is? America's dad, Tom Hanks. I'm like an expert at reading people. You might be the least perceptive person I've ever met. Chris, $100 bill, you can tell me one true thing about me. She is stunning. We know! You used to be a cop. It's the stance, the walk. Not to mention the standard issue Glock, the shoulder holster, and he used police hand signals back at the house. Not a street cop. You need to be in control. So I'm gonna say detective. I almost feel bad taking this. Basically got a fucking neon sign over your head that reads muscle. You got bullied in school, probably by dad too. When you got bigger than everyone else, you made it into a career. Really? A 20? That's cheap, considering you come from money, which means you're only in this for the kicks. You don't get your hands dirty. You use a keyboard instead of a gun and tell yourself that makes what you do not as bad. Good luck when the illusion wears off. No cash. And I'll just leave it at Semper Fi. She's good. You got about me. You've got loose wiring, probably a sociopath. And you are a junkie. Excuse me, what? Cop knows a junkie. Candy affectation. What, well, you don't want to have a drink with us? I'm going to be worried about you? No. Don't ever fuck with me. What? Dude, what is your fucking problem? First, you try to hit a little girl. Then you threaten her for protecting the little girl. And now you're just random like, don't ever fuck with me. I hate this man. I wish nothing but ill on this man. I want to go home. Can you shake the blindfold off? Are the cuffs hurting you? My arms are sore. Melissa Barrera, you could freaking kidnap me any day. And I am so sorry to any family that's watching. But <laughs> she's a gorgeous woman. Going on. We're keeping you here until your father gives us some money. You know who my father is? And we don't want to know, so don't tell me. Can you promise me you're not gonna let anybody hurt me? I pinky promise you that I'm not gonna let anyone hurt you. What's your name? Oh, you can call me Joey. Do you have any kids? I have a little boy. What's his name? Mine's Abigail. I can't tell you his name. I'm just gonna call him Justin. What's Justin like? Just a uh, normal kid. I don't really know about kids. Down. My dad, well, he thought he wanted a child, and he just lost interest. That's sad. He made a mistake. He doesn't care about me. Why do I feel like she's telling the truth about that? Joey, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry about, about what's gonna happen to you. I love pool. I want my own pool table. So bad. I don't need to know who the girl's father is, but do you know? She just implied that her father might be a particularly violent man. Oh, fuck! You see my fucking face? What color are my eyes? Purple. Who the fuck is your father? Joey said you didn't want to know. Who is your father? My father is Christoph Lazar. Who? The fuck did you say? I'm waving. Okay, bye. You can't just leave without telling us what's going on. That little girl is Christoph Lazar's daughter. Christoph Lazar. So he's like a crime boss? Is Lambert fucking insane? He just put a death mark on all of us. What if we just like give her back and say sorry? Oh yeah. Here's your daughter, Mr. fucking Antichrist. We're really sorry. Hope she's not too traumatized. Let's just leave. We leave her with some food, make an anonymous phone call, get the fuck out of Dodge. If we just leave her here and we don't get none of that money. How much do you trust Lambert? I trust him enough. That doesn't make it worth 
worth the risk. Seven million isn't worth the risk, then what is? Seven million? What would you do with seven million dollars? If I had seven million dollars, I would pay off my mom's mortgage, help out my dad with whatever, help out my brother, pay off my debts, take care of my family, and then put the rest in saving. That's the gate from Scream 6! Yes, open it for when that sunlight comes so you can protect yourself from the vampire. I don't trust any of these other fucks, so let's watch each other's back. I bet. Got you. I saw the way you was looking at me earlier and I thought we could just like, you know. What? Get the fuck out! Get out! You purposely tried to scare the shit out of her and then you thought she'd want to sleep with you? Oh, but you for sure gonna die first. You gonna draw a dick on his face? Churlish! <sighs> nah, I'm good. Someone down there? Even if they were, you're gonna be like, Hey, yeah, I'm here. Don't mind me, I'm just trying to kill you. What the fuck? <laughs> he just threw a fist. It's like he's gonna punch a rat. Man, fuck this shit. <clears throat> No one else heard that. Better not be fucking with me again. <laughs> you little shit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this motherfucker's head just fell off. What happened? Your head fell off. Why do you have a dick on your face? <laughs> His head fell off. Why do you have a dick on your face? Be honest, what does that look like to you? It looks like a fucking wild animal ripped him apart. Why are you all acting so weird? Three of Lazar's top guys got pinched a few years ago. Night before the trial, they were all hauled up on the top floor of a hotel. Next morning, the FBI goes into the room. All their bodies are ripped apart. Limbs and organs missing. Decapitation. Valdez. No way in and out of that room except for the front door of the 23rd story window. So how'd he do it? He didn't. Abigail did. We better check on the girl. Valdez or anyone else is in here. Lambert gave us up. If he gave us up, that means either one of us did it or Valdez is in here. Or one of us is Valdez. I didn't want to say it, but I'm Valdez. Hello? Hello. She's fine. I'm out. Rickles. Looks like nobody's leaving. Stand back. It's locked. Oh. Thanks, Peter. is happening this whole thing is a trap has anyone besides me and the man with the glasses been in here can you pinky promise me that you're not keeping a secret no because i'm a vampire and you don't know that so no the man with the glasses told me i had to keep a secret he said his name was valdez she is really good i have to give this little girl a lot of props maybe he and lambert are planning a power play that skinny motherfucker rips people apart mm. something doesn't add up we gonna get through this i have to Rickles? Bro, looking like a zombie. Oh! What the fuck? Abigail's in her room. What's happening? Joey, what's going on? Why'd you do it? Do what? Bring us here to kill us. You guys know what the fuck she's talking about? I think she thinks that you brought us here to kill us. Wow, fantastic insight, Peter. You're Valdez. You killed Dean, and you just killed Rickles. Wow, you got a lot going on up there, junkie, but your brain's not quite putting it together. You let a little girl get inside your head? You're not as smart as you think you are. Girl, though, she's fucking inspired turning us against each other like this. Don't take another fucking step, Peter. It's my job, Joey. Look, I just want to get to the bottom of this. My team is dropping like flies, and our guest has besmirched my good name. And I take that very personally. Do you? Do you? I'm very sorry. Ah! Oh! Joey, what's happening? Just sorting something out. Not fucking around here. I promise, Joey. I'm doing my best here, Abigail. Talk to her. No, 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 no. Peter? Guys. The beast is about to be unleashed. Guys! Sammy! What the fuck? How the fuck did she get out of those cuffs? <laughs> oh, fuck. Them teeth though. We can't have a fucking vampire. A ballerina vampire. At least Valdez isn't in here. The fucking girl is Valdez. I thought her name was Abigail. This guy is so. 
What do we know about vampires? Like Anne Rice or True Blood, Twilight, very different kind of vampires. Mm. They feed off blood. We're really doing this right now. They can turn other people into vampires. Mind control and make you do shit. They don't have a reflection. Okay, how do we kill a vampire? Garlic. Steak through the heart. Crucifixes. Holy water. Oh, you're fucking priest now? Daylight is a big one. Go check the kitchen for garlic. I say we tool up and we kill her. You said it yourself. This girl is smart. She's been manipulating us. We don't know if any of this stuff is gonna work. And even if it does, killing her would be the stupidest thing we could do. What do you suggest? We trade her to Lazar for our lives. I got him! Sammy, those are fucking onions. <laughs> Are fucking onions. Why am I looking inside a bear's mouth? Oh, she's dancing with a dead body. That's completely normal. Let's just talk. <laughs> Let's just talk. she Melissa Barrera on screen I stabbed, stabbed him 22 times and slit his throat shot him in the head Jesus Mary a motherfucking son of a bitch you fucking say I told you so <sighs> oh shit wait 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 oh motherfucker I'm guessing none of those weapons work the stake worked on my fucking leg used the crucifix on Peter like a fucking pincushion the garlic did fuck all well I have one thing we know does work when I jabbed her with this she was out out I checked her pulse and her breathing was slow and steady she's a pulse how does a vampire have a pulse oh damn she ate his whole body did she turn into a rat because I might be looking right at her <laughs> Is that a coffin? I mean, I highly doubt she's in it. I think I'm hearing things. Oh, oh, spiders. Oh. What are you? Oh my god, that is so fucking nasty. Oh, there's so- no! mm. 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 <coughs> <coughs> I love how she announced herself, like, <coughs> I'm here. She's talented, chasing you and doing ballerina moves. <coughs> Ow. Oh, what the fuck? From here. What color are my eyes? <laughs> no, you. She bit you. What does that mean? She's fucking flying. <laughs> Can't hold her much longer. Oh, you fucking bitch! I'll rip your fucking heads off. I forged myself on your blood! Tell us how you really feel! What the fuck is gonna happen to me? How do you feel? I feel like I got bit by a fucking vampire. <laughs> what the fuck is gonna happen to me? I don't know. God, why are you so gorgeous? Uh, I shot when you think about it. God. You're really good at pretending to be a little girl. Thank you. <laughs> I've had a few centuries of experience. What's gonna happen to me? Am I gonna turn into a vampire? Maybe. <laughs> oh my god! She said maybe! Listen, little lady. Oh my god. Ma'am. <laughs> We're very sorry. Ma'am? <laughs> thought you were just a regular 12-year-old girl. You were gonna beat me and torture me when you thought I was just a regular 12-year-old girl. We would never have taken you if we knew who your father was. You did work for him, didn't you? There was never any money. I planned all of this. Lambert works for me. <sighs> Jessica Herney, you started your career siphoning money from your affluent parents and eventually much bigger fish. One in particular. Terence Lacroix, muscle for the Montreal Broussard family. 
enduring endless taunts from your colleague about your stunted intellect? Is that why you stole from your crew, who just happened to be a tiny subsidiary of our empire? You weak, disloyal, inebriate, former detective. Adam Barry, you thought you could infiltrate our New York arm, but you liked the life a little too much, didn't you? She is good. I ripped up their bodies in the hotel penthouse. You changed your name, you left town, and you never saw your family again. But it wasn't for their safety, was it, Detective Barry? Wow, you abandoned your family. Finally, the tragic Anna Lucia Cruz, former army medic, drummed out of service for shooting up Uncle Sam's morphine. I was injured in the field. You tried to take care of your son before abandoning him to his fuck up of a father. Shut up. You became an underground doctor for some very shady people. One day, you were just too high to do your job. And instead of removing a bullet, you nicked an artery and someone very important to my father's business bled out. You and Detective Barrett have something in common. You never went back for your son. Shut the fuck up! And what do you tell yourself? That you want to be your daddy's little errand girl? He did lose interest in you. That wasn't a lie. How many of your father's enemies do you think you're gonna have to kill until he loves you again? If this is about revenge, why didn't you just kill us? This is just a game to her. Bullshit. She was screaming at the house. And dad triggered the alarm. That wasn't even her father. And for what? Because you're fucking bored? For your fucking entertainment? What can I say? I like playing with my food. You're the same as all the other meat sacks I've brought here over the years. Nothing different about any of you. Nothing special. Just something to help me pass the time. Quick question. Who's inside a cage right now? You let me out, I'll let two of you live. Which two? Fuck this. Let's just kill her now. You tried that. If you would like to open this door and try again, please do. My offer just expired. Now I'll only let one of you live. We have her, Peter. That's why we did this, so we can trade her for our lives. That will never happen. Joey was right. No matter how many of you I kill, my father doesn't love me, and he's not gonna trade anything for me. That's actually really sad. Peter, if you touch that door, I will shoot you. You shot me! You barely grazed you. Now give me your gun so I can patch you up. Open the door and I'll let you keep all your blood. Organs, too. Oh, very sweet of you. Tell me how to get the fuck out of here and I'll consider it. If I told you, you'd just leave me here. My offer just expired. I'll tell you. But you have to let me out immediately after I do. I'm very curious to how this movie's going to end. It's a deal. It's a deal. There's a secret door in the library. The bookshelf on the right wall. And then there were none. A deal's a deal. Still gullible at your age. <laughs> <laughs> What's so fucking funny? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was funny. Kill him. Fucking murderize him. <laughs> oh! Her arm just blew off. Oh, it's crying back. Oh, that looks like the scene from Alien where the thing comes out of the stomach. Oh, God. You're looking for some light reading, Frank? Shut the fuck up. Bitch, she just saved her fucking life. And then there were none. <laughs> Stupid fucking dancing fucking vampire! You good? The fuck was that? Grab something. We're gonna break through this wall. <laughs> Waiting for it to get dark, and then we're fucked! Aw, oh, you run out of candy? Is that true, what she said about your son? That you left him? Yeah. But I got clean, and I was gonna go back for him. That's why I took this job. With that money, I can start over. It's not about the money, the money's an excuse. You didn't go back for your kid because you're scared of being a piece of shit mother. Oh, I left because I was on drugs. Oh, I was on drugs because I got hurt. Own your fucking shit and go and be a mother to that kid. How about own your shit and go be a fucking husband and father to your fucking family? God, you piece of shit. Why hasn't he died yet? I don't need to hack the locks. I just need to find a power source. Then we can just short it. What, are you gonna unplug the fucking house? <laughs> Yes. Who's going with Twilight here? I'll go with you. Saw your reflection in this earlier. Let's go. He's such a sweet, nice guy. He's gonna die. You got any other bright ideas? Nosferatu? Why did you all listen to me? This is so fucking stupid. You got people out there that you care about? I got people too. So you and me, we're gonna go find that power source. We're gonna get the fuck out of here. You're my friend. Why is this movie like so oddly sweet and emotional as well? Like, what's happening? 
Oh no. Oh, shit. Oh, this poor guy. No! Peter, you drink too much. Damn, he's not here. I'm burning up. Oh no! He's dead. She got him. Oh no. <laughs> She's still in here. Run. <laughs> I always hated this room. My father turned me in here. A lot of painful memories. Her father's a vampire? It's never too late to make new ones. <laughs> oh god! I did not realize this movie was going to be so fucking gory. Well, that's a trap. They were being recorded? Oh, is that what the bear mouth was? Like a, a camera? Backstabbing son of a- Oh! One of them! No shit, Frank. I brought you back here to offer you a deal. You can die here, or you can help me kill Abigail. We well, only need a little upgrade. We'll kill the girl, we'll kill her father, and we'll take over the whole fucking thing. Fuck it. Bite me. Of course he's... Oh, what the fuck? Oh! What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh! <laughs> That's what set me up, you undead prick. I feel fucking great. Do you? <laughs> I told you not to fuck with me. Better fucking run. How has she fucked with you? <laughs> Abigail, please, fucking kill him. So you found Lambert. Did he try to convince you to take it all before you killed him? <laughs> Our game ends here. <laughs> Oh my god! Yes, queen, get out! Get out! No! She better live! What do you call him? Hello? Hey, Caleb, it's mom. Gotcha, haha. <laughs> Can't come to the phone right now, but leave a message. I love you so much, and I'm so proud of you. You're the one good thing I did in life. And I just needed you to hear that. I love you so much, my sweet, sweet boy. Why is this so fucking sad? Sorry to interrupt. No, you're not. Dipshit. It's a little late to be a good mom now, <sighs> don't you think? You fucking junkie. <sighs> I'm gonna fucking kill you, Frank. Oh, I hope you do. <laughs> Damn! She is getting fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Hit you with a book. Ow! Why don't you just kill me? Where's the fun in that? You wanna have some fun? All right, let's have some fun. Wow, she's like, let's go, vampire. I'm too weak to take him alone. Help me kill him and I'll let you go. She saved her! Luca came to join the party. If you want to kill me, you have to drain me. Oh! God! Oh! Isn't this fun? Why do 
don't actually feel bad for Abigail. No, you did not just do that. She bought the fucking pinky promise. Oh. God. Ow. Oh, fuck. She got bit. What does that mean? What does it mean? Oh, I can't wait for them to fucking kill you. Wakey, wakey. Little puppet. Little puppet. Yeah. Frank says. Christina says. Go fuck yourself. Frank says, kill the girl. <laughs> you could just make her your puppet. about being a vampire friend it takes a long fucking time to learn how to do all the cool shit oh fuck oh, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> put the oh please don't kill her she kept her word she kept her piggy promise thank you no problem oh, you're fine now that he's dead I think I'm gonna... Yeah. I hope you get Justin back. It's Caleb. I know. For what it's worth, you just have to show up. Lazar. <laughs> Father? Don't! Please stop! She saved my life! She was here when you weren't. I came when you needed me. She would be dead if she didn't help her. I'm here now. Mm, I think you should leave. Okay, bye. <laughs> See you around, Joey. What the fuck? <laughs> that would be my reaction, too. What the fuck just happened? By the way, the fact that Melissa Barrera still looks incredibly fucking gorgeous, covered in fucking so much blood is astounding I smile in the mirror in silence burn my tongue with violence there's a devil on my shoulder I feel it can't spend too much time alone okay movie over <laughs> where does one start fantastic movie absolutely fantastic movie I didn't think it was gonna be bad but I, I also didn't expect, I don't know, I don't know, it was just, it had so many different layers to it. First of all, it was gory as hell. It was humorous, it had some really good one-liners, it had really good characters except for fucking douchebag McGee, who just blew up, pushed them both opposite sides of the room. The fact that they actually made me feel bad for Abigail is like, bravo. You made me feel bad for a killing vampire. The acting was great. First of all, Alicia Weir. Girl, you were fabulous. She was so good at playing the innocent little girl to then switching up to the vampire. When she was in the cage, the way she was delivering those lines with such like sass and she was so good. She was so good. I loved it. And obviously Melissa Barrera was phenomenal. I loved her. Melissa, will you marry me? No? Okay. All right. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm just like fawning over her. It's like how I feel about Amy Lee. You were so fucking gorgeous. You were so beautiful. Like, how do you look like that? And I look like this. I want to be hot like that. I wish. I wish. Catherine Newton was really good. She was funny. It was like the ditzy little whatever. Also, the fact that this movie had such emotion. Oh my god, the scene of her like calling her son to say goodbye. Bitch, are you trying to make me cry? What is this? 
what is this movie? What is happening? So much emotion on its own is amazing that you you could have that emotional layer in a comedy horror movie. It was just an overall amazing movie. I'm so happy I watched it. I'm so happy it came out on digital so quickly. I had a blast. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my reaction to it. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day. It really does mean a lot that you take the time to watch my video. So thank you so much. Anyways, that is my reaction to Abigail, my first movie back. If you enjoyed this reaction, I hope you will hopefully subscribe. Maybe give this video a like. Comment below. Talk to me about this movie. Tell me what your thoughts are. I love hearing from you and I respond to comments. So please do a comment below. The full length version of this will be on my Patreon. If that's something that interests you, the link is in the description. If not, totally cool. Just supporting the channel by watching, liking, commenting, subscribing really does help a lot. I love you and I missed you and thank you for hanging out with me. Truly, thank you. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next one.